What's up you guys? So today I want to do something a little bit different, uh, do a little bit more of a personal video and just talk to you guys about some of the shitty soul-sucking jobs I had before I became self-employed as a freelance writer slash blogger. If you like this video, be sure that you hit the like button below because it really does help me out and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos kind of like this one. So on that note, I've been thinking about doing more like vlog style videos or like personal videos. If that's something you guys would like to see, definitely leave a comment below and let me know because those are the kind of videos I would love to do but I don't want to do it if you guys are just like fuck no, we don't want to see any of that stuff, like, just leave it out. Then I probably will just start a different channel for that. But if you'd like to see more personal videos and maybe vlogs showing behind the scenes of how I run my business or what a typical day is like for me, stuff like that, do let me know in the comments below and I will make more of those for you. So I've worked a ton of shitty jobs, let me tell you, like, too many to count and too many to put in a YouTube video without you guys getting fucking bored and leaving. So we're not going to make this a 20 shitty jobs I worked at video, we're going to narrow it down to the two shittiest jobs I worked at. And I was going to rank these, but then I was like, they both sucked so bad that I can't even possibly decide which one was actually worse. Like, they were both fucking terrible. So the first one I want to talk about is working at a call center. Oh my god, if you have worked at a call center before, you know how fucking terrible it is. I was working for a cable company in technical support, and basically what that means is I was working as a verbal punching bag for a cable company. Customers call in, they're mad. A lot of the time, rightfully so, but they really take it out on you like hard. This job was one where people would be in training and like half of the training class would drop out. People would run out of the call center crying because someone called them a bitch or something like that. It was not a lot of fun and you gotta have a thick skin to even survive at that kind of job, right? I have so many stories about horrible customers I had to deal with at these kinds of places, but probably the one that sticks out the most in my mind is this woman who called in and she was worried about her TV. So I went through the whole process, like reset your TV, do all this other shit. She got just madder and madder the whole time. It wasn't working and at the end of the call she said, I know there's a little man hiding in this TV who is changing the channel without my permission. I didn't even know what to think about that. I was just like, excuse me? like. I'm sorry ma'am, what was that? In that like fake customer service voice that we've all had to fucking do. And she was like, yeah, I know there's a little man inside of my TV and he's programming it and changing it. So when I'm watching the show I wanna watch, he changes it to the channel that he wants it to be put on. And at that point I was just like, I gotta get the fuck out of this place. Like, I cannot deal with this anymore. I'm called a bitch by customers. I've had customers say, thanks for nothing and hang up in my face. I had a customer tell me that since I was a female, I knew nothing about sports and she was a female too. So that kind of makes no sense, right? But the little man programming the TV station, that was just like, that was a little bit over the top to where I was really like, I gotta step back and like reevaluate my life for a second here. Do I really wanna deal with this kind of stuff every day? No, I do not. But unfortunately, I didn't really know that there were other options out there for people like me. I don't have a college degree, a bunch of fancy work experience, anything like that. I didn't know that I could do something else. But let me not get sidetracked and get into that. Um, let me tell you about the other shittiest job that I worked before I started freelance writing. It was a door-to-door -door sales job. So basically, I was working for a cable company and they would send me door-to-door -to, -door to sell cable to people. The worst part wasn't even the selling cable to people thing. The worst part was the fact that I was doing it under the fucking hot ass Texas sun. So it's like a hundred degrees. Literally, I had this job, I think from like May to June. I quit really quick. I had it from May to June. And I remember the situation that I was in, I had to commute two hours to get to work and two hours to get home from work. So a four hour round trip every day to get to this job. I would literally wake up at 4 a.m., work all day and get home at night and just go right back to sleep. But I had to do it because I didn't have, you know, any extra money. I didn't have anyone who was supporting me or whatever. Sometimes you just have to work those shitty jobs. And I was just in that shitty situation where I didn't know what else to do. Now, the second shitty thing about that job is that I actually sat down and did the math and I realized that I was barely breaking even. Like, really barely breaking even at all. These kinds of sales jobs are highly, highly commissioned. And I was just going through some stuff in my life at that time 
where I was just having a really, really difficult time talking to people, selling, being like kind of on all the time or whatever. And so I didn't really make as much commission as I had been able to make when I had done sales in the past. So it was a really, really hard time. I just remember like one night I came home and I just had like chips for dinner because that's really all I could afford. And it was just another one of those moments where I was like, I gotta step back and like reevaluate what the fuck I'm doing with my life right now. So those are my two shittiest jobs that I had. I did do a bunch of other shitty things. I worked at a grocery store as a checker which sucked and i worked at an agency where my boss was just a total sexist d-bag and just like one of the worst people i've ever met in my entire life so i've been through these kinds of shitty jobs and shitty life situations in general even but i want you to know that the point of this video is not to be negative i just want you to know that even if you've been through those shitty jobs and you feel like oh, I'm not qualified to start my own writing business or start my own blog or whatever you want to do, you can still make things happen if you start with the right strategy and with enough drive. Like I said, I don't have a degree. I'm not someone who worked at a world famous agency for years and years. Agency I worked at, it might as well have been a content mill. If you don't know what that is, Google it. But basically what I'm trying to say is I didn't learn shit about copywriting there and I certainly didn't do any work that would go into my portfolio and make it look good. So maybe you feel like you've been in a similar kind of situation where you're tired of working these soul-sucking jobs, you're tired of maybe working in retail or working at a call center or whatever. If you are a good writer, in other words, if you at least know basic spelling and grammar, and you are willing to learn about copywriting or another kind of writing that you can sell, like white paper writing, case study writing, blog post writing, if you are willing to learn your craft and get good at it and learn how to market yourself online, you can do what I did too. It only took me four months after I got fired from the last job I worked at to build a $5,000 a month freelance writing business. Only four months and that was about double what I was making at my previous full-time job. So if you wanna learn how to start freelance writing so you can ditch the job that you hate or the boss that you hate, let's be real, we've all had a boss that was a fucking asshole before. I have something for you. It is my free course called Make Money Freelance Writing totally free and linked in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out. This is not a fluff course. This is not the bullshit that you've read on 20 sites online. This is literally the step-by-step-by-step -step -step process you can take to actually start making money freelance writing. It covers everything from picking a profitable freelance writing niche to setting up your website and marketing yourself and how to land your first client. So be sure again that you go ahead and enroll in that free course. It is linked in the description box below. That is all for today's video, my friend. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It really does help my channel out. And subscribe if you want to see more videos about freelance writing and becoming self-employed and blogging and all that fun stuff. I will see you in the next video.